Tell him what song you just heard. Put a ring on it? Yep. Did you do the dance? No. Do the dance. Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim, and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dukes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. Party people! What's up? Party people. <laughs> I am, Laurel Auction Party people. <laughs> I am here with the legendary Mod Dukes in the yep. building. Make yep. some noise for Mod Dukes in the building. Mm -hmm. There you go. So uh, we're going to the Laurel Auction House right now. This is my first time ever participating in an auction. So I don't know what to expect. We might walk out of here with 100 pieces. We might walk out of here with definitely squat. Zip. So we're gonna see what we can do, what we can score, how this is gonna work. I don't know, but stay tuned. Mom, when was the last time you were at an auction? Oh, probably with your dad about thirty years ago. Yeah, no, so. maybe not that long ago, but it's been a while. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, people. See you guys inside. Peace. <laughs> Oh, cool. 
So we left the auction and we came up. We feel like we did a really good job. Yep. My dukes came in the clutch with guarding the items. This is our first time at the auction. So like this particular Yeah. Auction. So you know we had it was a learning experience, but I think I did really well. So yeah. we'll go over everything that we got, but we just walked in found this giant Second thrift Avenue, store. Ginormous thrift store. So we're gonna go inside. <laughs> this place is huge. Wow. This is like a whole, oh, this would take like four hours to go through this whole store. No, nah, get one inside. Oh yeah. 25th anniversary. Oh, you know, I already know about that. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what song you just heard. Put a ring on it? Yep. Did you do the dance? No. Do the dance. <laughs> Somebody went to an auction and got a lot of carnival glass. <laughs> did, <A> you, lot. <laughs> did you come up with that one by yourself? Yes, I did. <laughs> We are back from the auction. Uh, we also stopped by a thrift store. The auction was intense to say the least, um, but I'm glad I got that first one underneath my belt. Now I feel like I strategically know what I'm doing at this auction. Um, I'll go more into the details of the auction on our next live, so make sure you guys tune into our next live show. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and just give you guys a quick little run through as best as I can. Through some of this stuff obviously you could see there is a ton of it um but uh yeah i think i did pretty good so the first thing i got to um first of all i'll tell you how much we spent we spent a total of 135 dollars and then after the fees and tax it came to a total of 164 dollars and 57 cents and we pretty much got all of this so i don't know that's pretty i think it's pretty good it's like Less than ten dollars a piece, right? Yeah, well, don't count that big orange fluted vase or that clock behind it because yeah, those, those two, are from yeah, those two are from the thrift store. Yeah. All right, so I broke the ice by getting this vintage metal Kleenex dispenser. Um, I saw a couple that comped out. Obviously, this one is not in the best of shape, but I thought it was pretty rad. Um, don't really see these much. So I paid $5 for this. Next up was, as you can see, a lot of this stuff is uranium glass. So it will glow. Um, this one right here glows. Uh, that glows. Those glow. Um, that's the only ones that I got that was uranium glass. Um, so I got this really nice... Um, footed covered dish i haven't identified it yet i'm not quite sure you know i don't know it kind of gives me a high sea glass vibe but i i don't think it's that nice but it was five dollars i paid for that so i mean pretty much that's like going to the thrift store right there uh so that's not a bad find at all then you guys might have seen i have shown you guys the larger one of this so i found a small candlestick um they call it the dolphin and this one glows too really nice so that's pretty cool this flashlight is all jacked up right now um all right so i paid five dollars for that which i would have paid five dollars for that anywhere so basically nobody was going at me on a lot of this stuff so it made it kind of easy. Um, let's see. Candlestick, $5. Creamer and sugar. Right there in the front. Was it these two or those two? Well, I think it was these two. two. Yeah, so these are also uranium glass. Um, this is your depression glass. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure of the pattern. 
Um, but yeah, nice creamer and sugar. And I will identify all of these soon. Then we got... So I got all three of these satin blue glass, if you want to come up close. Okay. My Dukes. So we got, this is a Fenton um, basket weave, blue satin custard glass. This is a Fenton daisy and button blue satin glass uh, boot. And then this is a covered dish. And this is actually, I don't know. Yep. This is made by Westmoreland glass. Uh, this is a really nice piece. So I paid $5 for all three. That was a really good bargain on that. I mean, that's basically like a dollar sixty-five a piece. So yeah. that was really good. Then I got this bad boy. Which nobody wanted. This I got for $5. This is like super mid-century modern Jaguar, Panther, and it's a lamp. Um, we haven't tested it yet, but we'll go ahead and give it a whirl here soon. Um, I think they call these like TV lamps. Not 100% sure, but I thought it was badass. I've, I've done pretty well with that sort of mid-century modern stuff. Um, bowls, $5. Well, that was that the Fire <laughs> King? No, 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 no. you've gotten a little bit of a bidding war with that. Um, Must have been one of these imperial, one of these uh, carnival glass bowls, because you've got one, two, three, four, five bowls there. Were, were they on a different table, or were they all on the same table? I don't remember which one it was, but I got... Oh, yeah. Um, it, it must have been some of the carnival glass. Um, And then... But I paid five dollars for that. I don't know what that was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and so this is the one I paid up for. Um, this is a Fire King Jade Eye Batter Bowl. Um, I've condition. sold one of these before. Yeah, no chips, no dings. Um, I can maybe get anywhere from like fifty to seventy dollars for this, depending. Um, I paid thirty five dollars for that though. But that was like in the beginning of the auction when I had to kind of like make a stand and let people know, you know, hmm. I was in the building. <laughs> <You're> serious. <laughs> um, so then I got a whole bundle of carnival glass. So I got this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and... This piece, a lot of this is imperial glass. It was mostly all the marigold stuff. I got this piece also, and then this bowl and vase. And I got all of those pieces for $35, which was a bargain. Because that's like eight pieces of carnival glass right there. I mean, not all of it. I got to look up all the patterns, but I mean, it's all going to be at least double the money. So it was a good buy. And then... Last but not least was, oh, okay, I remember. Some of those were the bowls. And then we got this piece right here, mm. which is really like that opalescent carnival glass. Gorgeous. Um, we got this piece. What was the other one? The oh, yeah. This bad boy right here, which is, I love this piece. It's like that aqua green orange carnival glass. It's got a, some chip down here on the on the base but i got all these two and there's one more that i got was it that one right there the fenton this one right here yeah no are you sure wasn't it near the end no because i got these two and this one together with the oh, last okay the, that's those okay four. i see yeah i see i remember so i think that. it was just it was these two and there's one more oh yeah was it this one the footed bowl yeah and then i got the so i got all three of these pieces for five dollars so once again like a dollar 65 for each piece um they were like avoiding you like you <laughs> at the end you were like they're like leave them alone yeah. let them have then, fun <laughs> the last table some guy wanted to mess with me so he bid me up on i got this is a fenton orange tree that's a beauty yeah um shout out my man mark constellation pegasus 
Uh, we tried. They didn't have any. Uh, he's. I'm on the lookout for some specific Fenton Orange Tree pieces for him. They did not have any um, that you were looking for. But yeah, I got these two. This is a Star David with bows. Um, that's made by Northwood Glass. And then I'm going to probably do a whole like Carnival Glass video here soon. Um, and I got those two pieces and I got this really nice. Fenton, that was, uh, I that's, forget what it's called. I think it's called ooh, Blackberry that's, Sprayed or something like that. I can't beauty. remember. I remember seeing that one when we but first yeah. went in and we got to walk around and we were looking at all the different tables. And I saw that I said, oh gosh, yeah. I hope that is there at the end. So yeah, so we got all that at the auction. After the auction, you guys saw us, um, excuse me, jump to the thrift store. And the first thing we got was this bad boy right here. This is, I believe, to be Murano, um, and it is Vaseline. Look at oh, that. look at that. Mm. Gorgeous. Murder police. Oh, man. That is a piece right there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I was pretty stoked Stuck about way that. way in the back of the shelf. Yeah. And the shelves were pretty empty. They must have had it a good It was a 50% off day. Then. Yeah, it was a 50% off day, and somebody just passed right by that. And then we picked up this guy. So... This is a Betty Boop Cuckoo Clock. Um, I have not tested it yet. I know that it is missing the other little dangler piece weight, right here. The weight. The yeah. weight. Um, the hands are a little bent, but I did see this piece comp out as as high as two hundred. I think it was yeah, like two like two thirty. Um, so yeah, we got this for $3.99. So even, oh, there's a little damage up here. Shoot, I didn't notice that. Oh, I didn't either. Oh, we were man. so excited to get it. Yeah. So, you know, oh, maybe I'll be able to, uh, I can sell it for something. So, I mean, it was, it was only $3.99. So it's not that bad. Somebody might be willing to work on it. Yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah. And then, uh. I got these hats. We got Yeti coolers. Nice little snapback. Got this Ezra Brooks bourbon orange camo snapback. We got this new era uh, Super Bowl from in New Orleans. I think it, what year was that? That was 2013. Um, it's a little strap back. We got this 100th anniversary of the Indy 500. Um, and a lot of these still have their stickers and stuff. And then I got this really dope, uh, Mitchell and Ness snapback, uh, Raptors. Really nice condition also. And then last but not least, you know, I like to pick up my soccer jerseys. Got this Barca, Messi jersey. So, yeah, that was pretty dope. Um, that was our, our trip, so... Give you guys some more of the little insight on what went down in the auction and during the live. And then maybe even break down some of this carnival glass for everybody. Um, we well, have to do a glasses in session class. Yeah, we first. got glasses in session coming soon. Don't and worry. And then move on to individual yeah, things yes. like the carnival glass. Well, you know, the glasses in session is going to be like separated. Each I little, know, I you know. know. So like carnival glass will be a whole other glasses right. in session. You need your introductory right glasses. Right now I'm giving everybody the prerequisite during the live before we go into glasses session okay. but anyways we're rambling yeah. thank you guys for joining us it was a lot of fun i hope y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and share um i'm about ready to go check out my man sir Knock. he's about to go live so i'm gonna go check him out uh if you guys aren't subscribed to his channel make sure you subscribe to his channel he's crazy dope with the vintage clothes so uh yeah we'll check you guys next time peace yeah.